everyone and thank you for tuning into the Trucker Barbie channel. Today we're going to talk about team driving, how to be a better team driver, and today it's going to be specifically about bunk time. Okay, now uh, people work out bunk time different ways and team drivers should work out bunk time in the way that suits the both of them and makes them both happy. Um, I'm going to make a suggestion or two and you can take it or leave it, it doesn't matter. Because um, like I said, this is very individual, okay, from team to team. Um, first of all, when it comes to day driver, night driver, whatever, I'm going to suggest that drivers do something that I call splitting the night. Uh, when you change at three and three or two and two, you're gonna almost always perfectly split the night with some exceptions like summertime. Um, me and my team drivers typically switch at 2 and 2 or 3 and 3. I normally do 3P to 3A and my team driver does 3A to 3P. Uh, what to do about bunk time when the truck is not moving? You're on a 34 or you're just sitting. How we do it is this. The person who is sleeping opposite their normal driving shift will take the bottom bunk. And the person that wants to sleep during their normal driving shift will take the top bunk, okay? Uh, that is because, you know, in order to always stay prepared to drive, at least in my case, I have to maintain the same schedule every day, okay? So I'm gonna be awake up front or in the truck stop or doing something else, okay? from 3P to 3A when the truck is sitting. I'm gonna stay awake during my normal driving shift, okay? And I'm gonna to try to stay out of the truck so that my team driver can sleep, okay? Now, um, if I am uh, sleeping from 3A to 3P, because that would be what I call my bunk time, okay? Uh, and my team driver wants to sleep when they would normally be driving, okay they will take the top bunk all right and that's just how i operate and how my team drivers operate and we get all this out of the way and discussed and agreed to before we ever team together and that way there's no misunderstandings and no fighting or arguing over that bottom bunk in my particular situation i'm not able to get on the top bunk so i can only sleep opposite my driving shift Okay, there are times when I am sleepy and I wish I could crawl up into that top bunk, but I just discipline myself to stay awake. Okay, and I just find things to do and try to keep myself occupied. I go into the truck stop, I get on my computer, I get on my cell phone, I talk to other drivers, um, watch movies in the lounge, something to keep myself busy and awake during my normal driving shift when the truck isn't moving. So that's how we divide up bunk time. And normally we use the top bunk for storage. Uh, unless I have a team driver that wants the top bunk available at all times. In that case, fine. I'm not gonna try to tell somebody when they can sleep. They're an adult. They know when they wanna lay down and stretch out or take a nap. Okay, I'm not gonna say anything about that. As long as they're not watching TV or talking on their phone or something like that, as long as they're back there and they're quiet and they're not disturbing my sleep, I don't care what they do. Okay? And um, another thing about bunk time that you need to work out before you start teaming is temperature. And the way it works when I team with somebody is when it's my bunk time, which is 3A to 3P, okay, um, I have the temperature a certain way and I don't want my team driver to mess with it if they want to come back and sleep. I tend to sleep cold, okay? I don't like a lot of heat. I rarely ever even turn on the heat, okay? So, and vice versa. If you were sleeping, say, from 3P to 3A, and your team driver wanted to come back and sleep when it's their normal driving shift and they wanted to get on the top bunk, and you're laying there and you're sleeping and you like it warm or cold and they come back and change the temperature on you, uncool uncool you do not change the temperature on a sleeping driver they have it the way they want it 
leave it alone. Okay? That will help you be a better team driver. That will help you both get your sleep. Okay? Just by not changing the temperature on each other when the other person is trying to sleep. These are things that you need to discuss. Get out of the way and agree to before you ever get on a truck with somebody. Get all bunk time issues straightened out. That is extremely important. I can't stress how important it is. Okay? So uh, that's my speech on bunk time. Uh, be quiet if you have to go to the bunk area when your team driver is sleeping. Uh, if you stop, turn the APU on for them. If they want you to, they might not want you to. They might want you to just stay out of there and they'll take care of whatever happens back there. But if they want you to do it, do it for them. Um, and like I said, uh, leave the person's temperature alone however they have it when they're sleeping. And um, you know, you should be able to team successfully if both team drivers are able to get their rest and their privacy. Privacy is a big thing. We don't have much on a truck. But bunk time is one of the times where you can get your privacy and be by yourself for a while. And, uh, you know, just uh, look at your phone, have phone conversations, get your sleep. And we should all be allowing our team drivers to do these things. Okay? So, anyway, that's it. I hope you enjoyed this video. And I hope you have a wonderful day. Thanks for listening. Bye-bye.